In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a search box that will allow your site visitors to search your website. It's a very powerful tool and it's newly introduced by a company called SwiftType. Let me take you through how I set this up with my WebStarts website. The first thing you need to do in order to set up your ser switch search engine is go to swifttype.com. Once you're on geez, the first thing you'll need to do is go to swifttype.com. If you haven't already created an account there, you can easily create an account by entering your email address and your password. I've already created an account, so I'm simply going to log in with my email address and my password. Now that I'm logged in, I've already created a couple of search engines. You're going to want to create your own search engine by clicking the Create Search Engine button. Give your search engine a name. Choose your source, whether you want to use the crawler or API. I recommend that you use the crawler. And then put in the domain name to your website and click Create Search Engine. Give your search engine a name. Then enter the URL for where you'd like to create the search engine. Notice SwiftType will start crawling your website and providing search engine results for each page. This process process could take up to several minutes. Once your web pages have been indexed, you're ready to install your search engine on your website. Click the install button. And then I've chosen for this example the code to show my search results as an overlay on my site. Copy the code to your clipboard by selecting it and choosing to copy. Right click and choosing copy. Then make your way back to your Web Starts account and choose the option to edit your site. The next thing you'll need to do is choose where you would like to place your search engine on your page and go to insert HTML code and just paste the code to your search engine. Now you'll get this little box that will show you roughly where your search engine is going to show up on the page. Uh, once you've placed that where you'd like it to appear, go ahead and click Save. And you can click this little magnifying glass to view your live page. So here's my live page. And now when people do a search, on my site, it'll show results for different pages of my website. I can then click on those results and be taken to the page. A couple of great features about SwiftType are your ability to edit your search results. If you want to control the results, click on Results Control and then choose a search. So my search was for e commerce, for example and then say I want one particular result to come ahead of another, I simply drag it and I rearrange them. So the top search engine result will be now the this one that I placed as the first result. It also shows uh, under the analytics tab the types of keywords that people are searching for uh, on your website, which gives you an insight to what people are looking for at any given moment. So I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to make your very own free website and see more helpful videos like this.